What's going on, everybody? So you already know what time it is. I've got your deck suggestions again today, and let me tell you, I don't know how you guys keep making them more, more like really difficult for me, but um, I'm up for a challenge, so I'm just gonna go for the Goblin Barrel first play. We've got this first deck, which is like Goblin Barrel Mirror. I mean, you guys see the deck. I, I don't know what to say. Um, I will say a lot of you kind of screwing me without with not giving me evolutions, but um, this guy, you know, it gave me a couple of options to choose from, so I appreciate that. But we've got a Baby Dragon Minion Horde. Okay, hold up. He's gonna lava it in the back. Um, should I minion hoard the bridge? I feel like that's a really bad play, because if I do, you know what? No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I was very tempted, but, um, yeah, these decks that I've got lined up are going to be absolutely just interesting, to say the least. At least he wasted a mega minion over there on the left side, so I can go ahead and... Okay, he doesn't know I have minion hoard. That's, like, my surprise factor, so I'm going to have to drop that behind. Hopefully he doesn't have arrows. Please don't have arrows. Okay, he's got fireball. That's fine. Um, my baby dragon will eventually kill things, I think. No, it's not. Oh, my gosh, the stupid tower. This is why I hate the new tower, guys. Um, it's so broken in single elixir if you're not facing a beatdown deck. That's really only, like, the only bad situation. So I'm going to have to go for a Tesla, which kind of sucks. Um, but it is what it is. I think my play here is going to be, like, a goblin barrel mirror with... I don't know, maybe like a baby dragon to tank or something like that. Um, I feel like it's kind of impossible to... I, I don't know, the, the new tower is very interesting. It's hard to break through in single if you're not running a beatdown deck, like I said. So he's going to lava the back. I'm just going to go mini P.E.K.K.A. Goblin Barrel the bridge for his, not first play, but um, in response to that. I'm going to zap as well so my mini P.E.K.K.A. survives. That was not really what I was expecting. Um, I was kind of expecting him to play something else. I'm going to Evo Skellies because his tower is out of daggers, and I can just kind of force out the spell from him or a Valk. That's fine, because now I can go Minion Horde, and I think we're going to take out this Lava because there's no way he has enough for Fireball right now. Um, and you know what? I'll take that trade. That was a smart smart pressure, so he didn't have enough Elixir to, um, <laughs> to just end my career right there. But this is going to be really hard to defend when he does get like a massive Lava push. I think what the goal is going to be to not let him do that. I'm just going to have to like full send this left side here. Um, so I'm just going to cycle a Baby Drag in the back. Low key, man, Baby Drag, I love this card, man. It's been such a long time since I've used it. I feel like nobody really uses Baby Dragon anymore. I don't know. It's kind of a fun card, um, but it's just overshadowed by so many better things right now. I'm going to go Skellies behind this mini P.E.K.K.A. Okay, there's the Tombstone. Um, okay, waste this evil Valk. Maybe I can defend this push. I don't know. I do have the Tesla and Minion Horde, so hopefully we'll be all right, but we'll have to see right here. Um, I'm just going to Minion Horde early. I know this is risky. He's probably going to Fireball that. Oh, he's going to evil Zap. Okay, okay. I've got the Mirror, though. I've got the Mirror. This could save me. Please don't Fireball right away, sir. I need to get a Tesla down because he's going to Fireball. Okay, he's late, though. Not enough Elixir because he spent for that, like he spent so much for that Balloon. Then I can Zap, and that's going to be an easy defense. Um... I also do not have a big spell, so we're going to have to rely on, like, a Goblin Barrel Mirror to take his tower. Okay, I've got to go for it right now. Goblin Barrel on the inside tile, and that should maybe take tower. I don't know what he's got. He might have Zap. He does have Zap. I'm going to go for the Mirror Barrel. Hopefully, he doesn't catch it. Um, he's going to Tombstone the opposite side. Yes, we're going to Zap and win the game. So, one for one. Give me that. My goal is to go undefeated throughout this entire video, but we will have to see if that is possible. Does somebody want to tell me what in the world I'm looking at right here? I've got Pekka Ebarb's Graveyard, which has my first four cards. Like, come on, bro. Um, you know, it's winnable. It's winnable. Okay, Drill is probably the worst possible thing that I could see right now. I decided to use the Cannoneer Tower with this because I feel like, um, I don't know, I just need some high DPS when, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to have to ignore a lot of things, and hopefully my Cannon Eater can just, like, take out big pushes. That's kind of my hope right now, but this guy's got Tesla Drill, so he's playing a sweaty nerd deck, um, and we're going to be playing, <laughs> we're going to be playing Minion Horde. I don't even know. What do I call this, guys? Like, this is just absolutely, um... Okay, that's a good sign, though, because he does have Mighty Miner. Look at my hand. I've got the e -Wiz, so I can, like, pretty much always reset that. I'm cooked. What am I supposed to do here? I don't have enough Elixir to get a P.E.K.K.A. down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, I'm just gonna zap. I, I really don't know what's happening. I think I'm alive, but, like, that's a lot of damage. Okay, this is not a good start, <laughs> but it's okay. We can always bring it back. I just need that one magical push, right? Um, so I'm gonna go Graveyard Minion Horde the Bridge. I know this is the weirdest push you've ever seen in your life, but, like, maybe? I don't know. He doesn't have that much elixir. Okay, he's gonna poison. Oh, no. Poison's an ulti ultimate hard counter for me, um, because I can't really get damage if he poisons my graveyards. We did get, like, a thousand right there, but only because the Minion Horde, uh, made it through the poison. Oh, I'm so cooked, guys guys. I am so unbelievably cooked. How many E-Barbs on zero? Maybe? No, we can't even catch the drill. This is not looking good at all. <laughs> He's gonna have Evo Bomber. Oh, I'm getting BM'd. There's no way I'm getting BM'd when I'm running this. You know what? I'm still gonna have faith uh, that I can pull this back. I just need that one push, guys. All it takes is that one push. So let's let this guy be cocky right now. Just remember these yawning motes in like three minutes when he's when the game's over and I've won, um, then I might have to hit him with a little bit of BM, but we'll have to see if I can pull this one back. I'm very confident. I'm just going to cycle a P.E.K.K.A. in the back here. Uh, I'm obviously going to let this right side tower go if he tries to go for like a drill or something. He's going to mighty the back. We've got the E-Wiz though. This is not looking too bad. Um... 
I don't know. Okay, so what? I gotta think about this. He's gonna go drill on the other side. That's fine. I'm just gonna wizard on the left um, to defend the drill because I do have to respond to it since Cannoneer is too slow, unfortunately. But that was kind of a bad play. I'm gonna graveyard with this, maybe. Um, if I hit Evo Zap, no, I need to zap the skellies. Poison is gonna take out my um, graveyard, unfortunately. No, guys, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know. Wizard's gonna get one hit on the left side. I'm gonna E Barb's the left. And then, wait, he played Drill. Wait, I've got to spam the left side. This is like my only hope right now. His, he's out of juice um, on his tower, so maybe I can do something. I've just got to spam everything on zero, I think. I'm going to go Minion Horde on zero. Please, e -barb, E was on tower. Wait, can I actually do this? He's going to poison, though. He's going to poison. No. Um. Okay, please take tower. I took tower. Guys, we're back in this game. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually in this game right now after that starts. Um, but I'm going to cycle a Witch in the back. He's going to drill on my normal tower. Interesting. Um, okay, wait. I got to be careful because he is going to go for the bomber. Um, Evo Zap should clean that up with no hits. Oh, beautifully timed Evo Zap right there. Come on. I'm going to pack it in front of this Witch, and we actually have a chance to win this game, which is crazy. He was in the pockets. Okay. Um, we know he's got poison, so I've got to be careful of that. No, Evo Skellies. I have to save my Zap for those um, next time because there's no way I can break through. He has no juice in his in his uh, tower, though, so I can just go for the... No, that was a bad minion horde. Hunter, what are you doing? I'm getting too aggressive. No, I'm selling, guys. I'm selling. I have to get this win. I cannot... Dude, oh my gosh, graveyard. Oh, pff, nerf graveyard, please, Supercell. Like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Um, also, nerf the new tower. I'm so tired of facing it, but yeah. He's going to go for a bomber at the bridge. Yep, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Um, wizard, I'm gonna need you. Oh, Cannoneer, you're the best tower in the game. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. Okay, um, I guess I'll P.E.K.K.A. in front of this, right? Yeah, I mean, I just have to protect my witch to my to the best of my ability. The best thing about the witch is with this new tower troop, um, it's pretty much always keeping it low on daggers because the infinite spawn of skeletons. So I guess that's kind of a good thing. Um, he should defend this, but he has to poison, so that is a very good thing for me. He also has to log, so we're pretty much resetting right here. Um, I'm gonna minion horde early because he's going to try and spam the bridge. Really bad play by him. I don't know what this guy thinks he's doing right now um i might just cycle the is i really want to go in but like what do i do i guess i'll just cycle a witch in the back try and just slow roll from the back here and then i'm gonna cycle a pack of the bridge um okay he was just gonna reset i've got my zap for the skellies this time if he does go for evo skellies whoa 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 minion toward the pocket wait minion toward the pocket i think is the play because he doesn't have his um poison in cycle he's dead there's no way he defends this i'm gonna win this game we actually came back after that start i'm hitting him with the thanks that is what you get for yawning too early one minute into the match come on guys we're not losing today let's go now, MP Fishing 5530 knows exactly what type of decks I like to run. Um, so I've got a. <laughs> I mean, this is just E Barb's pump cycle, guys. Like, simply put, this is the most spammy deck that you could possibly have uh, with E Barb's. It's literally the quickest cycle. I'm just going to go ahead and try and get to my mirror first before I um, play these pumps. Okay, he's going to Giant first play i kind of have to pump up because i can't just e-barbs earlier he's just gonna play like something behind that and then they'll take out the e-barbs and i have literally nothing as you see in my hand oh my gosh i'm cooked wait i'm actually so cooked um i guess i'll e-barbs I, I guess um please don't graveyard or anything i am so dead if he does no guys no no i'm so dead what oh my gosh my tower's gone i think uh, i'm gonna rage up these skellies nah this this cannoneer is not gonna save me in this matchup for sure i wish i didn't have cannoneer actually i'm gonna freeze uh, nah i mean i have no elixir <laughs> what do i do um okay i'm just gonna chill i think yeah my tower is pretty much gone e barbs on zero maybe i can save my tower i don't know no the bat's gonna take it wow that is the worst and he's got bowler oh we're cooked we are absolutely cooked like call me a k bro just take me to kfc because i'm absolutely cooked already um i'm gonna go for the pump in the back i think and just try and hope that maybe we can stack pumps or something i, I mean this deck is like <laughs> it's literally nothing but e-barbs so um i've got to just hope that i can somehow overwhelm him with e-barbs maybe get like a heal spirit in there or something i can go for a second collector try and start overwhelming him with the elixir that's really the only play i have um no bowler notation he's gonna zap my pumps okay we've got evo skellies maybe i can try and do something with these um but i really don't know what i'm gonna do i think i'll just try and cycle a couple spirits and then probably go for the e-barbs at the bridge here um actually i'm gonna go e-barbs opposite lane and then i think i'm gonna go pump again i know this is too passive i'm playing really passive right now with this e-barb cycle deck but um the only chance i have is if i get enough elixir to overwhelm him like last second so i think i'll just go for another collector um i need to let this little prince walk a little further and then i'm gonna go for a collector evo skellies on top of that kind of an awkward i don't know awkward placement but i couldn't really play it anywhere else um he's gonna have to respond to 
that, and then I can go E-Barb's the bridge. Okay, hold up. I need to just think about this. He's gonna have to respond on the left side. Um, there's the Evo Zap. There's the Night Witch. I'm gonna go for the E-Barb's mirrored on this right side, and then I have my freeze. I have my rage. I'm gonna rage up early. There's the bowler. I'm gonna freeze it. Dang it, I should have froze it earlier. No, and a bad heal spirit. I'm selling. I'm selling, guys. I'm selling. Wait, those E-Barb's are on tower. Oh, dang it. Okay. Um, 20 seconds left. Can I do this? I don't know. I'm gonna rage, please. I mean, maybe? No, he's got... Oh, this is not gonna work, is it? Um... 15 seconds left. Don't give up on me yet, guys. He's gonna cycle an E-Spirit, then rage again. He's gonna bowler, right? Does he have enough? He doesn't have bowler and cycle. Does he have bowler? I don't know. He's one card off, I think. We just took the tower. We're back in this game. <laughs> back like I never left. Gonna go for the heal spirit behind these E-Barbs again. Um, there's the bowler. I think maybe he didn't have it in rotation, and that actually saved my life right there. But I can just go for the E-Spirit up high, and you know what? This game is not over yet. I've gotta keep the pumps going, or I have absolutely no chance. Um, I'm still cooked, guys. Like, what do I do against a giant graveyard? I'm gonna full send the left side, because I cannot allow him to just pressure me. Uh, um, and then he's gonna giant. I'm gonna E-bar, or skellies, and then rage. And then that should kill everything. Hopefully, please kill the little prince. Yes, we get the little prince off the map. This is still winnable, guys. I believe the dream is still alive. Gonna go for the E-barbs. Okay, really bad graveyard. I don't know about that graveyard, bro. Um, I'm probably gonna rage this up. Wow, E-spirit OP. Look at that chain it hit on the Night Witch. We can actually do this, I think. Gonna go for another collector. Um, then just heal spirit to keep my E-barbs alive. And I think... Oh, he cycled bowler! He cycled bowler! I'm going all in. Okay, I need to wait for these pumps to give me some juice. And then go for the E-barbs on the left side. And and then I think maybe a freeze. Um, no, I'm going to mirror the E-Barbs because I know he's going to pop the ability. That E-Spirit's going to reset the little prince and then I can freeze his... Okay, nice. Freeze. And then rage. No, no. Okay, battery. Don't do this to me right now. I cannot lose this game. Wait, I won the game. E-Barbs on tower. We're going to pull this one back. I am actually in shock right now. We just pulled that one back from the actual trenches. Let's go. These last two games have been the most absolutely stressful thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> um, but this guy wants me to play Pump Bow with out the expo when i put in a sparky instead that's what he wanted so uh, we'll see if this works out i actually have no idea this could actually be low-key good um but pump's gonna be on the map he's going to go for a battle ram he doesn't have anything for the pump which looks really good for me um tesla's gonna take care of that and you know this is definitely the best deck we've had so far we've had some absolute clunkers like what in the world was that last deck but we still pulled it off e barb cycle baby come on i actually can't believe i won that game um and yeah this is the brokenness of pump I mean, I can't even call it Pumpo. Oh, Pump Sparky, I guess. Um, he uses his arrows. I'm back to another collector already. And now we have a nice little uh, setup here with two... Okay, with two pumps down early on. Um... But yeah, like I said, there was like 300-something comments on this post, so I just picked a couple of the decks uh, at random. I didn't, you know, I appreciate everybody commenting, and eventually maybe I'll get to everyone's deck, but it'll take me a long time to get there. Um, and I just, you know, it's fun to just read all the decks and just kind of choose the most random ones that I think will be fun. So I'm just going to Sparky in the back, and this should be interesting here. It's going to take out Little Prince. He's probably like, what in the world? This guy's got Sparky with a cycle deck. Um, okay, okay, he's going to Pekka. All right, interesting. So... Wow, that was the worst guardian I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna go for another collector. I'm telling you guys, you gotta be patient with these pumps. The pumps are the are the move this meta, I think. Um, and all you've gotta do really is just be patient, and stack them up, take some damage, and wait for later. Because um, later on in games, they become absolutely detrimental. So I'm just gonna cycle a log right here. Sparky's gonna go ahead and not fire again because it wants to sell me. Apparently, I'm gonna activate the king tower with this bomber and then go for the knight behind and then skelly's up top. Dang it, I couldn't catch the ghost, uh, but still pretty good defense. I can go for a third collector. Right. Yep, you saw that three on the board. We had three uh, for like a millisecond right there. Um, but he's going to have to respond to this knight and little prince on the left lane, which is good for me. There's the little prince in the back, and I think it is time to start building our sparky empire. So I'm going to cycle the first one in the back. Arrows on my pump is very aggressive, good sir. Um, so I think the play is knight and then try and get back to another sparky. And I'm going to... Let's see, what do I do here? I think I go for the little prince in the middle. There's the P.E.K.K.A. And then I'm going to go Sparky and Evil Knight other lane. Um, and then this should be a decent little push right here. Because he only has one zap, right? He's only got one reset. I can pop the ability as well to push all these barbs off my Sparky. Hopefully my Sparky takes out the P.E.K.K.A. And then look at this. Oh, he's dead. He's dead on the right side. He just used his zap. I've got Skelly's Evil Knight and Sparky. There's no way he can defend that. Um, if he does, I'd be shocked. But we're going to protect this left side as well. Nice. We got a little dual lane pressure still. Look at this. A third Sparky coming down on the map. Probably not the best Sparky I've ever played, but um, it's still going to put in a decent shift he's going to have to respond still and then that's going to be ggs only 20 seconds left the sparky sparky pump whatever you even want to call it is too op right now um we don't get the three count unfortunately but there's no way he can break through with just 13 seconds and yes absolutely beautiful push right there we had the double knight double sparky other lane like on both lanes um don't know if i've ever seen that before that might be a first in clash royale history to be honest um but yeah pretty fire deck interesting for sure i feel like it actually worked out way better than i expected it to uh, with the pump 
our final deck of the day is whatever you even want to call this we've got the skelly barrel minor combination low-key underrated combination because we've got the we got the wizard in this deck as well and you guys know what i do with wizard you saw yesterday's video um if you haven't you better go watch because that might have been the, one of the best videos i've ever recorded <laughs> um so i'm just gonna cycle a minor skelly barrel first to play to open right there and then we're gonna get some decent damage i think that's Oh, what do I do for this? I guess I'll just cycle nice because I don't really want to use my Valk on that um, Ghost in case he's playing like Pekka or something and he has a Battle Ram, so I kind of want to save it for that. So let's see. I'm probably going to... Okay, there's the Lumberjack. I'm just going to Bats on top of this. This new tower, guys, like, come on, bro. I think it needs a nerf desperately um, because of how good it is in single. Like, you can really pretty much ignore things. Um, there's the Battle Ram. I guess I'll Hunter on top of that. Also, um, I'm finally playing Hunter. Yeah, everybody wants me to play Hunter since my channel is literally Hunter CR. Um... And you know what? I'll do it just for you guys. I'm not even good with the card. I'm really bad with it, but it's a lot of fun to play, in my opinion. I think it needs a buff because um, it's just too slow. It needs to shoot a little bit faster or something or, like, maybe have a tiny bit more range. Um, but I'm also biased towards Hunter, of course. So I'm going to go for a defensive minor. My tower is going to absolutely annihilate that E-Wiz in a matter of, like, three seconds. Um, literally, I don't even know. The tower just, to me, feels like a little prince when it's all the way charged up. Um, so I'm going to cycle the bats. And then what's the play here? I've got really nothing for attack is kind of the problem with this deck but at least we've got two evolutions you know i can't say that about a lot of these last couple games um so he's gonna go lumberjack in the back here i guess i'll cycle my ice whiz down low um that should take out the majority of this lumberjack all right we're chilling we're chilling i'm gonna go for the skelly barrel on the left side as well um and then i guess i'm gonna go minor in the back and then maybe evil bats too this could be good i don't really know depends what he has in cycle um skelly's on tower look at those larry's those evil bats are gonna survive as well wait we just won the game i think there's no way he can kill the bats because look at this think about this the tower is never gonna kill the bats because they always heal themselves up when they get shot um while they're attacking something so those bats are literally invincible until we play something else that's not even like a joke this is actually the most broken card i didn't even think about that um if you can get evil bats on the tower it's actually over no matter what um your opponent does so i'm just gonna cycle the hunter in the back okay i gotta defend one massive pekka push and we should be chilling here um so gonna get the wizard down as well yeah definitely enjoy doing this. this is one of my favorite types of videos though for sure um so i appreciate all of you leaving your comments and stuff okay evo archers i need you to relax i'm gonna go minor on top of those hopefully they can take that can take those two out please no okay he's not gonna die I'm gonna skelly barrel on defense. I'm kind of panicking if I'm being honest with you because my tower is out of juice and I can just go bats on top of the P.E.K.K.A. Um, all right, all right, all right. We're fine. Only 15 seconds left. We're gonna win this game, guys. It's just too easy. I mean, these decks are just too easy. You gotta give me more of a challenge next time. I'm kidding. These decks were like... I mean, you guys saw some of these comebacks in the video. Um, absolutely insane. But yeah, Evil Bats carried in this matchup for sure. Um, once the da the Dagger Duchess is out of daggers, it's just over. But yeah, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. And we'll see you guys tomorrow with the next one. Peace.